Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bhagirwad. Welcome to Salesforce CPQ series. In this video, I am going to show you how to use summary variables in CPQ. So, summary variables uh, are the variables which stores summary values or of quote lines or quote or product options, subscriptions, and set records. Okay. So, uh, let's get started with that and let's start to see a scenario over here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to create a summary variable. I'll go to this summary variable tab. Click menu. Let's say I'm gonna say total copy products. Okay. Aggregation function I'm giving it as sum. Target object I'm selecting as quote line. And aggregate field I'm giving it as quantity. And in the filter information I'm giving it as product code contains filter values copy so what it means what it's going to do this variable it's going to have the total quantity of copy products on a particular quote okay it's going to summarize all the products which contains copy in their product code and it's going to get the quantity total quantity of all those products i'm gonna save it now let's create a price rule so let's say uh, anything any name you can give so i'm just giving price rule evaluation scope i'm giving it as calculator active all conditions met Calculation event on calculate, configuration evaluation event on save, and click save. Now, let's create the price condition on which this rule should form. So, click new. So, here I am selecting object as quote line and tested variable. I am going to select total copy products which we have just created. And what I am going to check is if its value is greater than 1. If its, uh, if its value is greater than 1, then I want this price rule to run. And what this price rule will do, that I am going to define here. In the quote line again, target object will be quote line target field i am giving it as discount percent and i am giving 50 percent discount so now uh, let me summarize what i have done first i have created a summary variable which has all the copy product counts under a quote okay and then there is a price rule i have configured which will check if uh, copy product count is greater than one then it's going to give 50% discount to all quote line products. Okay. Now let's see it in action. So here I have a quote. I'll just refresh it. Go to edit lines. I'm going to select the copy product. So as you can see, there is only one copy product, which is this copy binding module. These doesn't contain copy in their product code names. Only this product contains. So that is one, but it is not greater than one. The count is not greater than one. So there is no additional discount. Okay. Now let's try to add one more product. Let's say copy machine. It does have copy in it. Now, as you can see, it has given 50% discount to all products in the quote. Okay, all quote lines it has given 50% discount. So that is how you can configure summary variable to get summarized information of quote lines, subscriptions, assets, or product options. And based on that, you can configure your conditions of price rule or product rule and uh, have some action on that. 
so that was about all about this video if you like it please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you